because you have trusted Christ as your Lord and Savior and in obedience to the Lord's command, I now baptize you, my, baptize you, my brother in Christ, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Buried with Christ in the likeness of his death, raised to walk in the way of life. Life here is a journey we walk by faith And there will always be the mountains in our way But right here in this moment May our strength be renewed As we recall what God has done And how we've seen Him move If there's anybody here Those of us who believe what the Bible says about the return of Jesus Christ and the events that will precede that return, well, that determines how we look at world events. To a premillennialist, every world event looks like a sign of the second coming of Jesus. And while it's true, Matthew 24, 36 says, no man knows the day or the hour of Christ's return, as we're going to see in Jesus' words today, we are still to be observant of the signs around us that are pointing to his soon and certain return. And we are to live our lives in light of his coming. What should be our response as we see these things beginning to transpire? We don't respond with panic. We don't have to respond with fear. But Jesus says we should respond with obedience. The Apostle Peter said it this way in 2 Peter chapter 3. Seeing that all of these things are to be destroyed in this way, what sort of people ought you to be in holy conduct and godliness, looking for and hastening the coming day of God? Are you ready? 